Nice. Too. Any advice for starting a Christian rock band? Um, mm. Our advice is probably a little different than most people's. Um, here's the deal. If, if it's about what God calls you to do, right? So if God's calling you to be in a band, you know, like he did for us, um, if he's calling you to use that um, for how you're meant to fulfill your destiny, if that is your destiny and your calling, first of all, I think it, we'd ask you to take a step back. Most people, we always ask them, you've got to know that you know that you know that it's your destiny. And you've got to have verses, you've got to have words from God that you because know, when because the when the time comes and it's going to get hard, it does get hard. It's not comfortable all the time. And that goes for, I think, anything you're going to do in your life. Um, you need to have words that you can stand on. Um, and I would just say, uh, bloom where you're planted. If God has you in a church right now, do not despise the day of small beginnings. If he has you play in front of five or 5,000, it doesn't matter. Our value, our worth comes from him. And we are we, I think he wants us to be secure in him. And, um, and then let everything else just be an overflow of that. So I guess our advice to you would be... Um, let your identity be totally rooted in him so that he can call you wherever he wants. And let him open the doors. You don't need to promote yourself because if you promote yourself, you're going to have to keep yourself where, you know what I mean? Like you're going to have to keep yourself wherever you got yourself. Um, but our, our, our thing is that God's going to put you where he wants, bloom where you're planted, and work, practice. Be faithful in what he gives you and multiply the talents. And then when he sets you somewhere, it, yeah, he'll keep you there. Becca, Next. how heavy is your white Les Paul? I have been meaning to weigh. It feels like it weighs like it's 25 heavy. pounds. But I'm, I'm sure it's not like six. But it feels really heavy. So I'm going to weigh it though. it around. I'm going to weigh it. And whoever you are, next time you come to a show or Twitter me, whatever, Twitter I'll let you know. Twitter me this. <laughs> okay, what's your favorite Paramore song? Only exception. I love, exception. what is that yeah. one? That's what you get? That's, That's what, what you get. I get. love that one. Yeah, Most fine. awkward meet and greet moment. Okay. I got it. <laughs> I got it. Really? Really? The, the play. Okay, Crab so cake. we, I don't even remember where, where we were. We were on tour, and it was a meet and greet. Oh, and I, one. I don't want to, is this offensive? To yes. Say? Is it going to offend just, you? Just it's not it. offensive. Okay. It's not offensive. I really try to be Don't be offended because we love everyone. We do, we do. But Becca Hart, it, well, it was a room, it was kind of like a meet and greet, but it was like, there was food there, so it was kind of formal. It wasn't really fancy. It was very, very, it was probably the fanciest they meet and greet ever done. They were serving crab cakes. It was very nice. They were serving crab cake. Okay. <laughs> it was a mean green. <laughs> just the way you said it. The end. So. I hate all of you. I hate green. So. So. Uh, Lauren's. Lauren's, Lauren's oh. fired. Okay. So. Um, I think she's getting the cat. So anyway. Uh, so we walked into this room and Becca Hart was like, okay, everybody, we're going to do mean green with Barlow Girl back. now. So if you guys want to get something signed, if everybody could just go line up at that end of the wall, because, you know, it would just be easier if we just walked through. Becca has a system, and that's why things work so well. They that's literally, everyone turned around and stared, <laughs> kind of chuckled a little, and like, then went Boo! back to talking and eating their crab cakes. I don't think they wanted to meet us. It was really no. I, I didn't just say no for crab cakes. Yeah, they were there for the crab cakes. So, well, I, I think every show we should have crab cakes. Oh, and next question. How do question, people will come? How about tofu crab? Is, is it, it loads, loads of, fun of fun to travel with Becca Hart? It is loads that. of fun. That's actually Becca Hart's mom. I'm pretty sure Becca, Becca Hart is the one asking that question. Just yeah. kidding. It's Becca. Um, oh my gosh, yes. We actually brought her on the road. To make, keep us laughing. To yeah. make us happy. Because we were making everything so serious and we were so, getting stressed, you know? Yeah. So she we had Becca us, come on the road. She makes us laugh and makes us do fun things. If you all could talk to anyone in the biblical times besides Jesus, who would you talk to and why? Man, I love... John, the apostle. I don't know. There's just, I love how, like, his relationship with the Lord. I would have loved to just talk to him about it. Um, I'm thinking maybe, oh, there's so many. Peter. I know. The apostle Peter. Yeah. Him and I would be BFs. <laughs> we both talk a lot. Um, I would talk to David. Um, I, oh. I'm always so inspired by his leadership and by his, really, his heart for God and that he still his whole life, it was about intimacy with God, that that was it. He never totally focused on anything else but that. And he just had such an awesome relationship with God, even as a king. And that's just something that really inspires me. So I would talk to him. What makeup products do you guys wear? We Lots. wear so many different We wake up like this. Kinds. Are you kidding me? I got no, this like, actually tattooed on my whatever. face. We wear anywhere from like, I wear like a Veda, Bare Minerals, <laughs> Revlon. Like, yeah, it's we're just pretty eclectic. Any, yeah, it's Everything. like whatever is like. Like, we'll find, like, the best eyeliner and, like, Revlon makes it. Like, there's just, like... It's honestly just, like, whatever find, like, stays on stage yes. and doesn't make you look like a member of the show. But Bare Minerals for me has, been, has yeah. been... 
I'm I'm being a spokesperson. I'm sorry. Yeah, bare minerals sorry. is definitely their eyeshadow. Their eyeshadow, but I, shadow, but I wear Estee Lauder foundation, and I wear just a bunch of different stuff. And Clinique Rouge. So it's just yeah. all that stuff. Becca said she wanted to learn every instrument. Has she learned the triangle? Oh, you know I got that one down. No, I don't. She's I've not. never even played the triangle. I don't think. Well, sorry, that's one I haven't done. Yeah, and it's a lifelong journey, I guess. I don't think I'll to learn the triangle. It. No, like all these. But well, my next one I want to learn is called the harmonica. It's a glass harmonica, and it spins, and you play it like you get your fingers wet and play it. No, it looks so cool. <laughs> I play the harmonica, not to be confused with the harmonica. Okay, what are you most looking forward to about this next year? Well, this tour is going to be really fun, and right yeah. after to we've we've been so looking forward to this, getting a chance to tour. Again, and also right after tour, we're going to Guatemala and maybe oh, Brazil. Yeah. So we are hoping excited. to go to Brazil. We're trying to find a place to book a show. So that would be awesome. Those are our highlights. Of the That'd be awesome. What's your favorite flavor of ice cream? I love I oh. love pink berry. <gasps> the tart yes. yogurt. It's my favorite. I got so excited now. With we're hungry. berries. <laughs> okay, but if you live in Nashville, it's sweet sweet seas. Seas. And if you live in life. Chicago, it's red mango. And yes. if you live, no. Um, yeah, but pink berry, but if it's like ice cream, ice cream, like straight up ice cream, I'm uh -huh. all about the cookies and cream. If I'm it's all about root beer floats no. or something. What was that Ben and Jerry's we had the other day that was literally, I think it was just cookie dough. It was, like it was really good. It was just it straight up cookie dough. It had everything in it. I don't know. We're not big ice cream people, so it's pretty rare when mm -hmm. we get it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I like sherbet. But, I'm, yeah. hi, I'm five. <laughs> um... Would you girls say hi to my best friend, Miranda? No. Hi, Miranda. I said no. Hi, Miranda. <laughs> so, stop. How's Penny Lane doing? Penny. Penny Lane is rocking. Um, she Ashley. was just here. It was, okay, she hasn't been too good because of the cat, and then we had a little earthquake in Chicago the other yeah, day. Yeah, is that weird? Anyone, in, anyone in the Illinois area, northwest suburbs, especially of Chicago, Earth, which wait. is where we're from, the northwest suburbs, and that's where the core was? And so my bed literally was shaking back and forth. Becca slept through it. The best part. Part of it is I haven't slept through the night in like three months, and I pray before I went to bed. I'm like, I'm gonna sleep through the night. Thank you, Lord. I'm gonna sleep through the night, and I did through an earthquake. That's really weird. But and I'm um, bummed I missed it. After the earthquake, Penny didn't sleep the whole next bit. night and kept me up the whole night. And but she, the they say animals react. Yeah, she's kind of, she's kind of. But weird she's right okay. Now. She's doing all right. So yes, thank you, Penny. Yeah. My dog loves you. What country would you want to? visit that you haven't Italy, Italy. country. Did Gold. anything break from the earthquake? No. No, nothing even Fortunately, really... praise the Lord, nothing. No. We're actually letting her go, so if you guys know any so that guy players, or girl who wrote the banjo player thing, you, you're in the band. Don't tell her and don't act awkward when she yeah, comes Yeah, just don't act, just don't if bring it up. If she comes back. Yeah. We're hoping she doesn't come back. I'm gonna check my Twitter Secretly. for any more questions. Um, okay. Yes, can you describe each other in three words? That is from someone, something with love. Yeah. I, I can't Okay, I'm sorry. I just have to say, we have the best cat in the world. True. He Aww. comes when he's called. That's right. There he's he like, is. food? Food? I'm a monster. There he is in all his glory. He's That's, getting big, everybody. Yeah. We keep a bell on him because it's really hard to find cats. He's actually heavier than Penny Lane now. She doesn't appreciate when he jumps he's on He's about top to bite my face. I, mean, <laughs> I can feel it. Oh, he's not. Oh, my God. Boys. Cat smell. Okay. <laughs> okay. okay. Sorry. Sorry. He smells so <laughs> bad. Wow, I, I bathe him in things too. Okay. Just, well, yeah. thanks for yes. asking that question. <laughs> what is your best? Was he rolling in the horse pasture? Oh my gosh. What is your best bowling score? Oh, oh 179. No, I think my highest was like 115. I'm seriously really proud of that score I bowled too. a 150 when Lauren bowled a 179. I'm horrible. Why? Because Lauren has her own bowling ball sure. now, and it's awesome. And it's perfectly balanced. Nerd. I also have my own bowling shoes. Who is the best athlete of the three of y'all, and which sport? Um, All of them. You can say me. I Actually, will, I will accept the company. Lauren is she's, definitely the best athlete. Yeah. Um, she's the most coordinated and competitive. Yeah, That's I'm true. really competitive. She used to play soccer, and actually, I will admit, she was really, really good. Um, she definitely got carded a bunch because she's pretty aggressive. But yeah. um, They were in my way. Whatever. That's true. Um, but she was a really good sports player, and um, yeah, soccer was, definitely, soccer was definitely your best sport. I love soccer. Yeah. <laughs> now, I took volleyball for a day. It was And a baton for an hour. Um, I'm awful. You're not awful. Becca's good at basketball. <laughs> Which, really? You had to tell people? 